It was summer vacation, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie camping in the forest. Daddy had found them a beautiful spot right next to a lake. Here we are. Can I help? Sure, Caillou. With your help, we'll have the tent up in no time. Caillou was very excited. He really wanted to go and splash around in the lake. Look at the lake! Can we go and play in it? Soon, Caillou. First, we need to put our tent up. Caillou helped Daddy with the tent. It was his job to hand Daddy pegs so that the tent didn't blow away. Almost done. Just a few more pegs should do it. Here you go! Hey! Go away, you! Help! These bugs are after me, Daddy! Slow down, Caillou. You need to be careful around the tent. You could trip. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Caillou. I think the bugs have gone now. Oops! How about you guys go and play by the lake while I put the tent back up? Caillou watched as Mommy skipped a stone across the lake. It bounced along the top of the water a few times before falling into the lake with a little plop. Wow! Magic! Caillou wanted to skip a stone, too. He picked up a stone and threw it as hard as he could at the lake. It didn't work! How did you make it bounce, Mommy? <laughs> Here, let me show you. First, we need to find a nice, flat stone. Like this one? That's perfect. Now, try and throw it low and straight. I did it! Great job, Caillou. Froggy! Oh, look! Rosie's found a frog. We're frogs, Rosie! Ribbit! Ribbit! The frog likes the lake, too! Bye-bye, Froggy! What are you two doing? We're frogs! Ribbit! <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun. The tent is back up. Do you guys want to come to collect some firewood? Okay. Caillou found lots of good sticks in the forest. He counted each one as he walked along. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four! Look, I found four already! That's a lot, Caillou. <laughs> Great job, team. Let's head back to camp. It'll be getting dark soon. Caillou was nice and warm by the campfire. Daddy was busy making them all some tasty roasted marshmallows. Are they ready yet? Not yet. The outside will turn light brown. Then you know it's ready. Not so close, Caillou. We have to be careful around the campfire. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Sorry, Mommy. I wanted to see my marshmallow. Caillou saw that the marshmallow was turning a light brown color. They're ready now, Daddy! Don't eat it! It's mine! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, Caillou. I'm just cooling it down a little. Mmm! It's all gooey inside! Wow! What was that? Was it a spaceship? That was a shooting star, Caillou. If you see a shooting star, it means you can make a wish. You have to keep your wish a secret, though. Otherwise, it might not come true. Caillou closed his eyes tight and made a wish. I did it! I made a secret wish! Well, I'm sure it'll come true, Caillou. Caillou didn't tell Mommy or Daddy, but Caillou had secretly wished for more marshmallows. His wish had come true already. Today, Caillou was going on a holiday trip. He was very excited. He had never been inside an airplane before. The plane's so big, Mommy. Much bigger than the ones up in the sky. <laughs> it looks bigger because you're closer to it, Caillou. 
Come on, we have to find our seats. Welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy your flight today. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. We've never been on an airplane before. Airplane! <laughs> nice to meet you, Caillou and Rosie. Let me show you where your seats are. Here we are. Can I sit by the window, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. You can sit next to the window too, Rosie. You have to put your seatbelt on before we take off. Let me know if you need anything. Caillou tried to put on his seatbelt, but it was a little tricky. Do you need some help putting your seatbelt on, Caillou? No, I can do it. Uh, uh, maybe just a little help. Hello, everyone. This is your captain speaking. We're ready for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Look! We're flying, Mommy! Caillou watched as the ground got further and further away. Soon, he could see the whole town below him. Look at all the houses! They're so small! Can you see our house, Caillou? Caillou wanted to get a better look out the window, but his seatbelt was holding him down. Sorry, Caillou, but you have to keep your seatbelt on until the captain turns off the seatbelt light. Where is the captain? The captain is in the cockpit flying the plane. I wish I could be a captain and fly the plane. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Caillou. Caillou looked back out of the window, but his town had <gasps> disappeared. Everything was gray now. Hey, where did our town go? We're going through the clouds, Caillou. Caillou was amazed. Wow. It had been so wet and gray at the airport, but now it was bright and sunny. Wow, it's all sunny. It's always sunny above the clouds. The clouds look like mountains, Mommy. That's right, they do. Look, Caillou, the captain says it's safe to take our seatbelts off now. Hi, Caillou. I hope you're hungry. We get lunch in the sky? You sure do. Here you go, Caillou. Wow, I get my own little table, too. Airplanes are the best. Hello again, everyone. We're going to be landing very soon. I hope everyone is looking forward to their holiday trips. Caillou saw that the captain had turned the seatbelt light on. Look, Mommy. I did it by myself. Great job, Caillou. I can see our town again. <laughs> That's a different town, Caillou. We're flying over a different country. Hi. You must be Caillou and Rosie. Did you enjoy your first flight? Yes, it was amazing! Ooh, airplane! Somebody told me that you wanted to fly the plane. Can I? <laughs> when you're older, for sure. But for now, I'd like to make you and Rosie honorary pilots. Thank you! I hope you enjoy your holiday. Caillou was very excited to start his holiday but he really couldn't wait to fly back on the airplane again. Caillou was going to a food fair in the park with Grandma and Grandpa. Wow! Look at all the food, Grandpa! That's right, Caillou. This is called a World Food Fair. The people here are making food from all different countries, Caillou. It's a great chance for you to try some food you might not have tasted before. Caillou could smell all kinds of unusual things, 
but he didn't know what they all were. What can you smell, Caillou? I'm not sure, but it smells yummy. Well, come on then. You lead the way. My tummy is starting to rumble. Well, hello there. How can I help you today? Hello, this is my grandson, Caillou. He's going to try some food from around the world. Well, Caillou, you've come to the right place. Have you tried a taco before? Caillou thought about all the nice food Mommy and Daddy made for him at home, but he couldn't remember having tried a taco before. I don't think so. What is it? A taco has a hard, crunchy shell on the outside and a tasty filling on the inside. Mmm. Well, that settles it. One taco, please. Here you go, Caillou. Now be careful, Caillou. Make sure you don't squeeze it too hard. Oh, dear. Caillou's taco had broken. It had looked so yummy, and he didn't even get to try one bite. That can happen with tacos. Here, have another one on the house. Thank you. Remember to be careful this time. Try not to squeeze it so hard. Caillou held the taco very carefully in his hands and took a bite. Mmm, it's really good. Caillou thought that tacos were very tasty, and he liked the way the outside crunched. It's crunchy. Here, try some. Okay, Caillou, where to next? A woman at the next stall was stirring something in a large metal pot. Caillou wondered what it could be. Hello, this is Caillou. He is trying different food today. Very nice to meet you, Caillou. What are you stirring? It's a curry. Curry is a very popular food in a country called India and it's full of all kinds of interesting spices. This one is spicy, and this one is mild. Caillou hadn't heard of India or curry before. India? Where's that, Grandpa? <laughs> India is a country on the other side of the world, Caillou. Can we have one spicy and one mild, please? Thank you. I'll try the spicy one. Mmm, just right. Caillou noticed that Grandpa's face had started to turn red. What's the matter, Grandpa? <laughs> that spicy curry is too hot for your Grandpa, Caillou. Here, try this. It's a drink made with yogurt called a lassi. It'll help you cool your mouth down. <laughs> Thank you. That's much better. That spicy curry sounds scary. Caillou wanted to try all of the food, but he didn't want to eat anything too spicy. Don't worry, Caillou. This one is only a tiny little bit spicy. I promise. Caillou felt a little tingling in his mouth from the spices, but it didn't make his face turn red like Grandpa. It's not too spicy at all. I think I should have the mild one next time as well. Thank you for the curry. Hello. Care to try some sushi? Mmm, my favorite. Sushi? That's right. Sushi is from a country called Japan. It's usually made with rice and raw fish. Caillou didn't like the sound of raw fish one bit. Raw fish? Yuck! Can we have three pieces, please? One for me, one for Grandma, and one for Caillou. Give it a try. You never know. It might be your new favorite. It's too weird. I can't eat it, Grandpa. That doesn't matter, Caillou. Different people like different foods. I know. How about you and Grandma go find a picnic bench, and I'll bring you something I know you'll love. Grandpa had brought Caillou something, but he was keeping it a secret. What have you got, Grandpa? You'll have to guess. Caillou liked guessing. Okay. What if I told you that it's made by mixing flour, eggs, and water? Okay. Well, what if I told you that this food comes from a country called Italy? 
Oh, I know! Pizza! Almost. How about if I told you that this was your most favorite food in the world? Caillou knew what Grandpa was hiding. It's spaghetti! That's right! That is my favorite! Yummy! Caillou had lots of fun trying the different kinds of food at the fair, but he really loved his spaghetti. Caillou was very worried because he had lost his favorite toy car. He looked under the couch, on top of the coffee table, and even behind the TV. What are you looking for, Caillou? I'm looking for my toy car, but I can't find it anywhere. Hey, you found our old camera. Oh no, did I break it? No, Caillou, it's meant to do that. It's all dark. Just watch. Caillou watched as the photo changed. It wasn't dark after all. It was a picture of himself. Wow, like magic. Can we take some more pictures, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. How about you take some pictures of things with different colors? I can do that. Let's start with something red. Caillou looked around the room and saw his red fire truck sitting on the carpet. There! My fire truck is red! Perfect! You can look through that little hole to see what your picture will look like. Caillou could see his red fire truck through the hole in the camera. I did it, Mommy! Look! It's my red fire truck! Great job, Caillou! How about we try something green next? Hmm, green. There's lots of green things in the garden. In the garden, Caillou could see all kinds of green things. Look, Caillou. Why don't you take a picture of this green grasshopper? Caillou tried to take a picture of the grasshopper, but it jumped away into the grass when he got close. Hey! Come back! You have to move slowly, Caillou. The grasshopper won't stay still otherwise. Mommy, I was really slow and quiet. <laughs> wow! Look at all its legs! Great job again, Caillou. Do you think you could find something blue to take a picture of? Something blue. Oh, I know! Rosie's dress is blue. I could take a picture of Rosie. Caillou found Rosie in the living room with Daddy. She was playing with his toy car. Hey, Rosie! You found my toy car! Vroom, vroom! Smile, Rosie! I've got to take your picture! Look, Rosie! Magic! Is that our old camera, Caillou? Yes. Mommy and me have been taking pictures of colors. That sounds fun. How about we take a picture of all of us sitting on the couch? But who will take the picture? It has a special timer. We can set it up on the table, and it will take the picture after a few seconds. Here, let me show you. Okay, everyone on the couch, quick! Say cheese, everyone! Cheese! cheese. Ka 
Caillou had loved taking pictures with the camera, but looking at them magically appear was his favorite part. Caillou and Rosie had spent the whole morning shopping for groceries with Mommy and Daddy. So as a special treat, they had taken them to the toy store to buy one toy each to take home. Wow! Look how many toys there are, Rosie! Toys! Toys! Remember, just one toy each, okay? Look! Squishy balls! They just look like regular balls. What's so special about them? They're really cool. When you squeeze them, they change color. But you never know which color you're going to get. Yellow one. I want yellow one. Caillou could see that Rosie was still too little to reach the squishy balls by herself. Here you go, Rosie. Say thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze! Wow, you were right, Caillou. They do change color. Is this the toy you want, Caillou? Caillou thought that the squishy balls were really fun, but he wanted to look at some other toys before he made up his mind. Maybe we should look around a bit more first. There might be something better over there. Caillou could see a girl playing with a toy he'd never seen before. Hi! What's that toy you're playing with? It's a fidget spinner. You hold it between your fingers and spin it. Once it's spinning, you can do cool tricks, like balance it on the end of your finger. Here, you try. Caillou took hold of the fidget spinner and spun it between his fingers. He could hear it making a little whizzing sound. Great! Now, try to balance it on one finger. Looks like you need some practice. Never mind, Caillou. Let's try again. Ready? I'm going to let go now. I'm doing it, Mommy! Look how it spins! It's like an airplane! Great job, Caillou. Caillou, come and look at this. It's a spaghetti-making machine. First, we have to choose a color for the spaghetti. But I thought spaghetti was always brown. This is special spaghetti. It can be any color we like. Caillou had never heard of different colored spaghetti before. Wow! Even blue? Of course! Yellow! Yellow! Thank you, Rosie. Now we can have multicolored spaghetti for dinner. Caillou watched as Daddy placed the blue and yellow dough inside the spaghetti machine. It's ready. All you have to do is press down on that lever. It looks delicious! <laughs> Sorry, Caillou. It's not real spaghetti. It's just for playing with. <laughs> What's the point of spaghetti if we can't eat it? Whoa! Did you see that? Hi there. I'm Jessie. Hi! I'm Caillou. I was trying to catch that truck, but it was too fast. Oh, you were very close. I almost crashed trying to escape you. So you were driving it! Can you teach me? You make the truck go forward by holding down that button there. And you turn it with those buttons there. Great job, but be careful. If you go too fast, it might crash. Whoops! I'm sorry. That's okay. You almost had it. I can help you. There you are, Caillou. You shouldn't run off like that. We didn't know where you were. Sorry. 
I was learning to drive the truck, but I crashed. Well, at least you're helping clean up the mess you made. Caillou could hear something rattling around inside the eggs. Hey! There's something in there! What is it? It's a surprise. Each egg has a different toy inside. And sometimes it even has sweets and stickers. Caillou thought that the surprise egg sounded amazing. Mommy, I want a surprise egg! <laughs> Good choice. I think Rosie has decided too. Okay, here I go! What surprise did you get, Caillou? I got some colorful sweets, some smiley stickers, and a toy truck! Amazing! Caillou was very happy with his surprise egg. Now he could practice driving at home. Today, Mommy had taken Caillou and Rosie to get their eyes tested at the optometrist's. Mommy, why do people wear glasses? Glasses have special lenses that help people see better. Do I need glasses? Well, that's why we're here, Caillou. The optometrist is going to do some tests on your eyes. Caillou didn't like the sound of having his eyes tested. Hi, you must be Caillou and Rosie. I'm the optometrist. My job is to test your eyes to see whether or not you need glasses. What kind of test? Don't worry, they're fun. Come inside and I'll show you. Why don't you take a seat, Caillou? What are those? These are a special pair of glasses we use to test your eyesight. If you're having trouble seeing, I can change the lenses like this. Whoa! Everything looks fuzzy! What about now? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, Caillou. I'm going to show you some letters, and I need you to tell me what they are. That's an A! Very good. Do you know any words that start with the letter A? Um, apple. Apple. That's a good one. What about this letter? That's a C for carrot. Excellent. Mommy says that carrots are good for my eyes. That's right. Eating fruit and vegetables is very important for keeping your eyes nice and healthy. Caillou thought the eye test was a lot of fun. Okay, Rosie, it's your turn now. Caillou could see that Rosie was looking a little nervous. Don't worry, Rosie. It's fun. Okay, Rosie, can you tell me what this is a picture of? Excellent. What about this one? Moo! That's right. Well, I think that's enough testing for now. Why don't you go and take a look at some glasses while I look at your results? Mommy, Caillou, and Rosie looked at all the different types of glasses. What about these ones? Mommy, these ones are too big. I look silly. Well, what about these then? These are cool. They're like something a spaceman would wear. Great news, Caillou. You both did very well on your eye tests. You and Rosie don't need glasses. Aw, but I really like these glasses. Here you are. You can wear these whenever you like. Awesome! Thank you! Caillou was happy he had good eyesight. But he was even happier he was able to keep the spaceman glasses. Today was a very exciting day for Caillou. 
He and his classmates had gone on a school trip to the aquarium. Keep close, everyone, and stay with your trip buddy. Wow! Caillou looked at all the fish in the tank. There were big ones and small ones, long ones and round ones, and fish in every color imaginable. Caillou thought it was amazing. <laughs> You're my favorite! Caillou, come on! You're going to miss it! Oops! Sorry, I'm coming! Goodbye! Wow! This room is even bigger! It's like we're fish underwater! <laughs> it's starting! What is it? Caillou watched as a man swam around with the fish. He thought it looked like lots of fun. Wow! They said that the mask he's wearing helps him to breathe underwater. And the special shoes help him swim like a fish. Caillou thought that swimming around with all the fish looked amazing. He imagined what it would be like. Hi there! Have you seen any treasure nearby? This treasure! <laughs> there you are! Caillou! Come on! You have to put this on and come outside, Caillou! Oh, uh, okay! Caillou loved finding the buried treasure but he didn't understand why he had to wear the funny coat. Is everyone ready? You might get a little wet. It's time to meet our friend, the sea lion. Caillou loved being a scuba diver and seeing all of the fish, but he loved being a starfish even more. It was a beautiful sunny day, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to the park to enjoy a picnic with his friends. This looks like a good spot to have our picnic. Here I come! Choo-choo! Oh, sorry, Caillou. I didn't see your train coming through. All aboard! Come on, Rosie! Hop on the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> chugga, 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 choo-choo! Oh, no! Look out! Uh-oh! Where's Rosie gone? We all play a game of hide and seek. Yay! I love hide and seek! Let's play in pairs. I'll hide with Rosie, and Clementine, you can hide with Leo. Then, Caillou and Daddy can come and find us. Great idea! Come on, Leo. I know a great place we can hide. Let's go and find a good hiding spot, Rosie. 
Leo, Clementine, Mommy, and Rosie all hurried off to hide from Daddy and Caillou. Okay, Caillou, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... Caillou opened his fingers a little. He wanted to see where everyone was hiding. No peeking, Caillou. Sorry. I just wanted to see where they were going. I know, but if we peek, it spoils the game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're coming. Ready or not. Daddy, I think I saw someone behind that tree. I found you. <laughs> Well done, Caillou. Have you found Leo and Clementine yet? No, not yet. Well, let's keep looking. I'm sure they're close by. Caillou thought he could see something moving behind a park bench. I found you! Aw, you found us. After all this hiding and seeking, you must be hungry. I think we should go and have our picnic. Caillou was sitting on the picnic blanket, enjoying his picnic. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! Look how big it is! Mmm! I love watermelon! Oh, no! Oops! Don't worry, Rosie. I'll get you another juice box. Daddy looked in the picnic basket for another juice box, but they were all gone. Oh, no. There's none left. It's okay, Rosie. You can share mine. What a good brother you are, Caillou. Oh, no. Ants. They're on me. They're on me. Me, too. It's okay, Caillou. They're just after Rosie's spilled juice. Look. Let's move to another spot. We don't want ants in our sandwiches. Look, Rosie. Your juice wasn't wasted. Now it's a yummy treat for the ants. Caillou thought that the ants would be good at playing hide-and-seek, especially if they were looking for yummy treats. Caillou was chasing Leo round the jungle gym. They were pirates, and Leo had stolen his ship. Caillou was determined to get it back. <laughs> Arr! You can run, but you can't hide! It was show and tell at school. Caillou was excited, but nervous to speak in front of his class. Okay, Caillou, ready when you are. What have you got to show us today? <laughs> This rope was my grandpa's. He gave it to me for my birthday. <sighs> he loves to fish. At weekends, he takes me with him and we catch all kinds. <gasps> Careful, Caillou. Don't go overboard. If you want to catch a fish, you need three things. A rod, some bait, and a strong knot. <laughs> and some patience. What's that? <laughs> it's waiting even when you don't want to. Now, what you want to do is have a strong knot so that the bait doesn't fall away or get bitten off by the fish you're trying to catch. All we need to do now is wait. Once Caillou had thought back to those fun weekends, he stopped feeling so scared. He taught me how to fish, how to put a worm on the line, even how to steer the boat. And best of all, he showed me how to tie this cool knot. <gasps> See, you pass the end over itself like this then under and around the standing end, like this. It's called a figure eight. 
real sailors use it for all kinds of things. That was excellent, Caillou. I think we all learned something. That was awesome. Thanks. At recess, I'll show you how to... Caillou, listen up. I want to go outside and show Leo my figure eight. Well, you need to be patient. You might learn something new. My daddy took me sailing this summer. He bought me this model sailing boat so that I can always remember. <gasps> if you want to go slow, you need to pull the sail out like this. And when you want to go really, really fast, you need the wind to hit the sail right here. One day, I'm going to sail around the whole world. That was just excellent, class. See, Caillou, there's always something new to learn, and anyone can be a great teacher. Now, recess. All the kids were out playing in the sunshine. Mrs. Martin looked around, smiling. As she looked, she spotted Caillou and Jesse in a shaded corner by the jungle gym. A storm's coming, Jesse. We need to get out of here. We need to move fast. Push that sail out, Caillou. Mrs. Martin had no doubt about what game they were playing as Caillou and Jesse sailed their model boat through the air. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to their very first circus. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait for the show to begin. When is the circus going to start, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. Get your popcorn! Get your cotton candy! Can I get a snack, please? Sure. What would you like? Caillou loved popcorn, but the cotton candy looked good, too. Both, please? Too much sugar is bad for you, Caillou. You can only have one. I can't choose one. I want both. Caillou wished that he could eat popcorn and cotton candy for dinner instead. Why don't you have a mix of sweet and salted popcorn? That way, each one will be a surprise. That's a brilliant idea! Mmm! I got a sweet one! Thank you! The lights went down and Caillou saw a man in a tall hat standing in the middle of the tent. Who's that, Daddy? That's the ringmaster. He's in charge of the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magical Marvelous Circus. The first act will be the Clumsy Clowns. Everybody in the audience laughed when one of the clowns played a silly trick on Daddy. It was a pretend flower, Daddy! After the clowns had finished, it was time for the tumbling acrobats, who formed a pyramid in the middle of the ring. Caillou thought the person at the top must be very brave. Finally, came the plate spinners, who balanced plates on tall poles. Caillou was amazed. They didn't drop a single one. Can I be a plate spinner too, Mommy? Oh, yes. I'll get you some plastic ones to practice with on the way home. The circus had finished, and all the performers came out to take a bow. Caillou had loved every minute of it, but now that it was all over, he felt a little sad. Mommy, when we get home, will you help me make my own circus? Of course, Caillou. That sounds like lots of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 
Welcome to Caillou's Magical Circus. Thank you. For my first act, I'll need two assistants. Mommy and Daddy helped Caillou make a pyramid, just like the acrobats in the real circus. He felt very brave being at the top. Watch out, Caillou. Don't drop them. Caillou was very good at plate spinning. He didn't drop a single one. Though he might have had a little help from Mommy. <laughs> Caillou had something very special planned for his big finale. Be careful, Caillou. That bucket looks very heavy. <gasps> Put it down, Caillou. You could hurt yourself. Caillou, you tricked us! Ta-da! That was a very clever joke, Caillou. That was the best circus we've ever seen. Great job, Caillou! Caillou had lots of fun making his own circus, and he couldn't wait to show his new trick to all his friends. <laughs>